Hey guys, this is Scope. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Almost said Pokemon Soul Silver there. Wow, that's kind of odd. Why would you say that? That's like so long ago. Okay, anyway, um, this is part 21. Yes, man, I remember the movie 21. That was such a good movie. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, 21. That was a good movie for the reason that. Pretty much just because, uh, what's his face? Who's the guy in there? Same guy from Across the Universe, which is like my third favorite movie. Huge Beatles fan. Um, what's his name? Uh, the European guy. Dude, I know his name. It's just slipping me right now. He sings like amazing covers of all those Beatles songs in that movie. Uh, dude, what is his name? That's gonna bother me. His name is, uh... Okay, things I've just seen a face. Hmm. Oh wait. Okay, in the movie his name is uh Jude. What is his name in real life? Dude, I don't even know. I'll probably have to put it in an annotation because I'm just a dumbass. I can't remember right now. Maybe I'll remember it by the end of the episode. That's the goal here. Okay, anyway, the goopy inferno. Oh great. This is a shine for the ages. Oh, yeah, and guess what? Shadow or Dick Mario takes our flood at the very beginning of this shine, not even in the secret level part of it. This isn't a secret level, and you get your thing taken. See, now he's starting to think with portals. I mean, with his... what? Okay, anyway. Uh, so, for this shine, we gotta do some crazy tactics. Oh, my God, what is his name? But anyway, some of the songs they sing in that uh, are way better. Like, I think they're actually better than the Beatles songs themselves. Like, a few of them. I've just seen a face is really good, and uh, um, what is it? All you need is love is really good. Okay, so to do this shine, what you're supposed to do is um, you're supposed to go all the way around the island here and uh, go into one of these holes, then go under the island and get to the shine itself, or get to your flood and then get to the shine. So that's the long way. Now there are two ways to sequence break this to where you don't have to go under the island. The first one is you can very, very carefully walk along this edge here and try not to get hit by the fire. If you get hit by this fire goop, you get stuck in an infinite loop and you'll die. So don't do that. And you can also, and you gotta try not to get hit by these guys. And then once you do that, you can uh, get over there and there's a little plot you see and you can just try to make it over to your flood, which is right there. It's on that multiple platform area. Now that way is kind of hard. I don't think I've ever done it that way, but I think Chugga did it that way on his Super Mario Sunshine. And all I know is it's possible. Now, there's another sequence break, which I find slightly easier, but in theory is harder, I think. And that is this. We'll get, we'll talk to that guy on fire in just a minute. Is uh, you go to the lake here and just swim upstream. Blue coin right there, by the way. Yeah, uh, pretty hard to miss. Okay, Mario, let's let's start swimming. Now, the platform with our flood is. Whoa! Holy crap! What did I just do? Oh, I know what I did. Okay, our platform with our flood is right there. It's that one right there. And as you can see, there's not that much goop in between it and us. So what you want to do is when Mario gets out of the water, he brings a little bit of water with him, as you can see, for like a few seconds. And that will disap or that will make the goop disappear. So what you want to do is like get in the tiptoe of this water here and then do a huzzabugada or some other type of jump, whatever you prefer, and try to get this water as far along as possible to eliminate as much of this goop and try to clear a path for yourself. Now you can't get very much. You can't get very far. This is, oh yeah. And then there's that bird that actually drops the fire goop, and he'll try to ruin all your hard work. Okay. And then once you do that, you can try to do a double or triple jump and uh, dive over there. I'm gonna. I'm going to attempt to do that now. Okay. I'm not ready for this. I have a feeling I'm gonna fail. Oh yeah. I'm not ready for that. Oh man. That bird is dropping shit. He's dropping fire shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, hit the fire, lovely. Yeah, and if you get hit by the fire, it's going to screw you, and it's going to push you farther. It's going to push you the wrong way, pretty much, to make sure you take double hits. All right, let's go for this. Oh, that was dumb. Why did I... That was, like, the worst attempt I've ever seen anybody try in their lives. I want to show this, man. Yeah, you can also do that spin jump. That'll get you... Whoa, dude, what are you doing? You're going to die. Yeah, that's why this one's kind of dangerous, too. There you go. 
Man, if you could just long jump, that would be great. But you can't. Okay, so let's try this again. All right, so double jump. Damn it! I just barely didn't have enough height. Dude, that bird's coming by again. I just need a little bit more room to do a double jump. Okay, I think that'll do. There you go, and you dive, and then you can get over here. Awesome. Okay, so this is how you get up here, and then you can come get your flood. Now, I kind of wanted to show it the other way, too. You know what? No, I don't. Screw it. The other way, you go under the island, but we have to go under the island again in another shine. So, you'll see it then. It's all the same, pretty much. If I wasn't dying, I would go show it now, but screw it, man. Anyway, blue coin right there, obviously. Now, once you get your flood, uh, you don't want to go get the shine right away. Now that you have your flood, you can actually clean this shit off. And... You can do quite a few things here. One of the biggest dick moves they ever did in this game with a blue coin is this right here. Under this giant goopy inferno that you would never think about cleaning off, there is a huge M right here. Yeah, this is like the biggest M in the game, just sitting right there with a blue coin. That's just crazy. That's so random. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid, I used to have OCD with this too, and once I got my flood, I'd actually go and, cl go and clean this whole island off. With all, clean all of this goop off, and it's literally over the entire level. So that's crazy. I don't know why I did that. And it's dangerous too, because if you get just if you accidentally hit one little wrong part and you get stuck in a loop, you're dead. Anyway, now this guy with fire too, which is only here in this level, you can now spray off now that you have your flood back. Come on, buddy, get over here. I'm pretty sure I'm probably missing another blue coin that's exclusive to this level too, but these are the only ones I'm gonna get right now. I'm not gonna waste too much time on this. So I suppose it's not a waste. Dude, if you just stayed still, I would be able to clean you off so much faster. Alright, I'm walking a ball humbug, thank you. Uh, sure, we'll save. We haven't saved in a while. Look at that, we got 55 blue coins and 55 shines. That will never happen again. Except for now. But that doesn't count. Okay, so now let's just go get our shine and stop screwing around before I die. But then again, if I died, it wouldn't be that bad of a thing because I'd get to show you that other part. That other part, though, it takes like five minutes to go through the whole bottom of the level, but at least you don't run the risk of... Well, you do run the risk of dying because you could fall off the edge, I guess. Ah! Dude, that sucked. I almost died. That wasn't purposeful, even though I was just talking about it, I promise. And how's the boogada? All right, now to get your shine, you uh, pretty much just got to get on top of this mushroom, however you see fit. And we've got to clean off the mayor who's covered in fire goop, which apparently doesn't hurt him like it does to us. Maybe he should be the protagonist of this game if he's not hurt by fire goop. Anyways, and the mayor will give us a shine for saving him. Because that's all he cares about is his own well-being, not the entire town. I mean, if they really wanted this to be an epic shine, they'd just, you know, he'd make us clean off this whole town and then give us a shine. Because that would make more sense. But who cares about making sense, right? It's a Mario game. Anywho. Oh, what is his name? Jim Sturgis. Yes! Got it! Okay, mission complete. This episode is a success. Jim Sturgis is his name. He is a great actor, and he has, like, the perfect accent for that movie, giving the setting and everything, and he is just... He did a fantastic job. So did uh, the people that play Max and Lucy in that movie. It's a great movie. Definitely recommend it. Okay, uh, I want to go back into Pianta Village, because we haven't done shit here. We haven't really done shit. Uh-uh. uh 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 uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, this one's easy. Chain Chomp's bath. Of course, now I've just suddenly been cursed because I said it was easy, so now it's not going to be easy. Note to future LPers, never say it's going to be easy. Ever. You can try and use reverse psychology and say, okay, this one's going to be so hard, oh my god. And sometimes that works. Sometimes you'll say that and then it'll be extremely easy. But for the most part, you're, you're better off just not saying anything. So anyways, what we have here is a Chain Chomp, who is obviously extremely heated due to this ridiculous weather. I'm the one who should be steamed. Bad Chain Chomp! Maybe I should head over to the hot spring to calm myself. Yeah, why would you want to go to a hot spring in this weather? Anyway, what you want to do with this Chain Chomp is pretty much let him go, because we need to get him to somewhere very, very cool. However, if you try to find the normal sources of coolness, aka like the, uh, like the lake that we cooled off those other guys in the, uh, whatchamacallits, the other tiny chain chomps, you'll notice that the lake is now dried up that it is so hot. Yeah. 
So pretty much we gotta cool off this chain chomp. We can use our flood to do so. Um, you can also throw those bottles, those barrels of water at him that I had before, but that's kind of, it's kind of hard to hit him with it. So let's just start spraying him. We actually want him to be right around this area, so it would behoove you to start spraying him once he gets over here. Okay, he's, he's running away. Bad chain chomp, that lady was right. And once you spray him off enough, he'll be cooled down, but only for a short while. You want to try to pull this guy towards the hot spring. That lady said hot spring was a, uh, that she wanted to go there. That's just kind of a hint. Let's pretty much pull this guy in that general direction. If you want, you can just kind of let him go here himself. Like, let him, uh, walk over here and then calm him down. Okay, and then he's going to get hot again after a while, so just spray him again. They seem to go mad with rage when they overheat. Yeah, no shit. Alright, looks like he's calm again. That was a long shot. I should have moved closer. Yeah, I know he's avoiding me. Great, now we have him in the exact same spot as before. So, yeah, I don't know. Pretty much just move him as fast as you can. Maybe he won't do it again. Yeah, and as you can see, his color slightly changing. He's slightly becoming more hot. Okay, once he does that, get over to him quick and start spraying again because you don't want to lose ground. The wall blocked me. Dude, this is going to be the same thing I'm doing every time. Dude, fucking cool down already. I've shot you like 1,800 times. Dude, oh my god, this is pissing me off. It really is. Like, this is so simple and... It shouldn't be pissing me off because I'm not even failing that bad. It's not like I've died, but for some reason it's just pissing me off when this game just does ridiculous things. Like, I've ran into a wall 40 times for no good reason. Alright, I'm going to let go of you here, actually, and now I'm going to start spraying you. Yeah, I'm going to start spraying you ahead of time. You don't like that, do you? Oh, yeah, you don't like how I did that there, did you? No, that was good. You don't like when I outsmart you like that, do you, Chain Chomp? I don't know what that X on his head either is. Maybe it's just like a make him unique. Anyway, point is you want to get him into the hot spring because somehow that cools him down even though it's a hot spring. A little redundant. Anyway, point is shine comes out of him. We want that shine. Now we beat the fuck out of him for making us do all that. Alright, got a shine. Awesome. 57. 57 is less than 11. But it's not really. It's more than 11. But 7 is less than 11. 7 11 is a convenience store where you can buy various goods like slurpees. Slurpees are good. A chain chomp could would have done well to just get a slurpee. Alright! So, are we close to finish off, finishing off any level? Oh, wait, I wanted to get that shine that was on the island there. I did. I wanted to do that. Okay, we'll do that now. See, every time I think of a shine like that, I I have the just the reason I go and get it immediately instead of like saving it for later or for a better time is because I will forget I will forget, and then it'll be the end of the LP, and I'll be like, oh my god, where is the last shine? And it'll be right there, and I will have totally forgot about it, and then I'll look like the stupidest person alive. If you want, you can get the turbo nozzle to get here a lot faster, but screw it. Because you really can't get anywhere once you have the turbo nozzle, except for these places. Swimming isn't that bad anyway. Anyway, you see that gold bird that just flew off? Yeah, well, we saw him on the way here, too, with Yoshi. He was sitting in the water. I didn't point him out. But anyway, if you get on top of this tree, you can spot him very well, there he is, and just pretty much spray him down. As with the blue bird in the levels that give blue coins, and the red birds that give red coins, this golden bird gives you a golden shine! Shine, shine, shine on. I love the water frozen in time there. It's awesome. So yeah, he gives us a shine just for spraying that bird. That is the easiest shine in the game, almost, kind of, not really. Also, if you get the turbo nozzle, uh, then you can get over here faster too, but you, I really think it's nearly impossible to get to where this shine is with the turbo nozzle because I'm pretty sure you at least need the hover or the uh, rocket nozzle to get to this shine because it requires some ridiculous platforming. I mean, I tried it. I tried it. I tried to do like spin jumps and hoosabugadoes, and I'm pretty sure it's impossible. Like, I, can get, I could get to this island with the spin jump, and then instead I couldn't get to that island, so I went this way. And once you get to that tiny island over there, though, I don't think there's any way to get to this island. This island that the shine's on. I really don't think it's possible with the turbo nozzle. Prove me wrong. Feel free. Shit, leave a video response if you can. 
Get yourself some cool bonus points. I mean, yeah, you, it'll impress me. It's very impressive. Impressive, Star Fox. Okay, hurry, 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 hurry. I want to get one more shine in this video. I want to be very productive. Let's see. Uh, shit, let's go to Rico Harbor. Why do I only have, like, five shines in World 2 and 3? They've been unlocked since, like, Episode 2. I should have more progress here. All right, depending on what this shine is, the video is either going to end here or... Uh, it's going to continue. Err, err, err. And Shadow Mario Revisited. Okay, we can do this one. Wait, so I did have more than five shines here. I had six. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so this is one of the harder levels to chase Shadow Mario, kind of, but not really. Um, if you're kind of a noob at this level, then it's very difficult, because the path he takes is kind of an expert's path, which you use to get to, like, you know, these, these brackets. But, of course, damn it. I'm having oh I didn't I don't have the camera zoomed out that's not helping there we go but we use this path all the time to get up here so we're 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 familiar with it and pretty much he's just gonna run up here the entire rest of the level so just follow him at a safe pace and there you go look at how easy that was fooey who says fooey what a ridiculous man you are Dick Mario give me my shine bro damn I had to wait for it to touch ground before I could take it. Yahee! And we've got 59 shines! Yeah, baby. We're making progress here. We are making increasingly great progress. However, we have reached our time limit, but not really. There's no time limit. We've reached our file size limit, so to speak. Yeah, because you can't upload files larger than 2 gigabytes. Well, you can, but it doesn't bode well with my computer. Maybe in the future, when, I, when Project Gator is finished and I have my new computer, I can... Uh, the advanced upload will work for me and I'll be able to upload just like however long videos I want because I won't have to worry about the file size limit either. Of course, you know, it'll still take forever to render and everything, but who cares. Anyways, I've blabbered on enough. Uh, uh, this is Scope and I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Goodbye everybody and have a great day.